Austin Eats, episode 14. We're here at Ariana in Alston, Mass, on Brighton Avenue. Um, Afghani food, which I've never had before. I'm here with my friend Alice. I'm Alice, guest judge here on Boston Eats. And my new texting winter gloves. You can keep your hands warm and text your friends that you're on your way to the restaurant if you're running late, which I often do. Let's go. Spicy um, chili sauce, and then the um, many ingredient sauce with like jalapeno or walnuts and some green stuff. So we've gotten bread, as Alice said, and the sauces. Um, I think the bread is fine. It's kind of mediocre. It's as Meredith said with the last Boston eats. <clears throat> It's just in order to get the sauces into your mouth. You know, it's a vehicle. And I think the sauces are excellent. So far, the presentation has been my favorite part. Everything is just so simple and pretty. So I'm going to try the um, pumpkin with the ground beef and yogurt sauce. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Delicious. Mm. There's like a little bit of a sweetness, I think, to the ground beef, but maybe it's the pumpkin. It's so good. But now I'm going to eat the ravioli. The noodle reminds me of like an Asian dumpling. The flavors are really good. I just expected it. the ravioli not to be so um, thin, but it's really good. And I like the crunchiness of the um, scallions. Switching. The sauce in the ravioli thing is so good that I like can't get it up quick enough with my fork and knife. I want to do something inappropriate probably at a restaurant, but instead I'm settling for sopping up everything I can with the bread. The vehicle with which I get this delicious sauce into my mouth. I forget what this is called. This is our only lamb dish, and I can already tell just by putting the first piece in my fork that it's extremely tender. By far, the best thing we've had. This is so good. The lamb is what I think is just delicious, perfectly cooked. So tender. The sauce is like a tomatoey sauce, but it doesn't taste ultra like acidic or tomatoey at all. Alice, can you talk a little bit about Afghani politics? <laughs> Final scores. I um, I'm gonna give this place Ariana four and a half meat raviolis out of five because. I loved pretty much everything. I think that it didn't get five because um, the second entree we ordered was just great, but not amazing, amazing. Final scores for Ariana. Um, first, my pros, just a real quick rundown, are going to be the volume of the music in the restaurant in general. I do not have to be out with the person I'm eating with, which is just such a pleasure. Um, the service was great, the presentation of the food was great, there's fresh cut flowers everywhere. And the lamp was just my favorite thing. Very tender and um, a little bit of spice but not too much, I really liked it. The other great thing is um, we did get a lamb dish and we did get some things with ground beef on them but there are um, a bunch of vegetarian options so if anybody's vegetarian out there, there are a few of the same things that we got available as vegetarian versions. Honestly the only con was the kind of lack of diversity on the menu. Um, there were multiple things that were it listed in multiple categories, or you know, some of the things were listed in multiple categories on the menu. So one dish would be both an appetizer and an entree and a side dish. So final scores. I am going to give Ariana in Austin, Massachusetts, uh, three and a half out of five. Alice is rolling her eyes, but listen, the competition is heating up. You're shaking the camera. Sorry. 
three and a half. Final score, okay? Three and a half out of five uh, handsome Afghani waiters. Um, and I will come back, if nothing else, then for lovely service and um, this delicious lamb.